Greetings comrades, this is Evan Gaming Caleb, back with a little quick unboxing video, something I don't normally do, but uh, you know, I did with the Steam Deck and the docking station earlier, so I figured uh, maybe every now and then I'll show off like a new electronic device, like, you know, Amazon, because you know, I'm, uh, because of my dad's, you know, health being the way it is, being unpredictable and whatnot, you know, I don't really go out shopping much these days, and if I do, it's usually just for groceries or stuff my dad needs. So I don't really have much time to go out shopping for myself these days. So I buy a lot of my stuff on Amazon. Quite a bit of stuff. A lot of my computer parts I got from Amazon. A few uh, old PC games and PlayStation 2 games I got off Amazon. And of course, I pretty much get all my electronics on Amazon these days. Not that there's nothing anything wrong with Best Buy, in my experience, but again, with my dad being held the way it is, I don't really have much time to go out shopping for myself, so I just stick with Amazon. So I just I get stuff that I want or need, and I still take my father home. So you know, it works out. So anyway, this is when it comes a shock to some of you, but I have never used a soundbar for my TV before. And since I'm playing on the TV a lot more, thanks to the Steam Deck, and I do eventually plan on getting a uh, console on exam. Kind of want to get an Xbox Series sometime in the future. Of course, I need to get another. Uh, HDMI switch box. That's a better one than this uh, insignia one I have. Anyway, yeah, I've never used a soundbar before, so I decided to go for a pretty cheap, affordable soundbar. This one has really good reviews. This is the Vizio 2.0 soundbar. I figured I'd go. Vizio's a pretty decent, uh, affordable brand. One of my uh, first TVs was a Vizio, and it was pretty good for what it was. By the way, sorry for the. Shaking as a camera, I'm doing this on my bed. Because, well, this is the most uh, room I can have when uh, not lying on the floor. You don't want to see my dirty ass floor. You know, I vacuumed last week. Anyway, so yeah, Vizio 2.0 soundbar. Pretty nice looking, uh, or pretty simplistic, which is fine. I don't need no gaudy, like, super flashy sound. I just want something that improves the sound over these, uh, speakers here. These are my old uh, Logitech uh, speakers. These actually were my old speakers for my PC a while back. Then since I got my uh, Z triple uh, threes, I decided to swap um, those out for these for the TV, which I was contemplating using those speakers for the TV, but there was no room for the subwoofer. So for, you know, we'll just go with these. And these still, still sound really good. And uh, yeah, these Z200s, I believe that's what these are. Still really good speakers for the price, so whether you're for computers or even TVs, or if you want a good affordable set of speakers, check these out. These are like around 30, 40 bucks and I bought them. The price might have gone up, I'm not sure, but they're still really good and affordable speakers. And Logitech, pretty good brand, at least when it comes to speakers, you know, their keyboards and mice and stuff, really good. I just wish their software wasn't shit. Come on Logitech, get your shit together. But anyway, yeah, good speakers. Go check them out. But I wanted something a little better. And I decided to delve into this. This is my first ever soundbar for TVs. And uh, I decided to go with this just to see how it is. And yeah, ultra compact design, small but mighty. This versatile soundbar delivers louder, clearer, and better TV sound to any room. I'll give you a judge of that. We have two powerful speakers, 91 decibel sound pressure level. Okay. You guys, DTS Virtual X, Virtual Studio Sound, Volume Leveling, and Bluetooth. So you want to connect your phone on here, you can. This is mainly for the TV. It has digital optical, subwoofer out, auxiliary in, and USB. And it comes with a mini stereo auxiliary and mini stereo to RCA. And it's a pretty small, uh, pretty decent sized sound bar. It's like 20 inches wide, 2.2 inches high, and 4.4 inches deep. So definitely fit underneath my TV. And uh, you probably see you saw the box over here. Yeah. I decided to get some RGB lights for my uh, entertainment center because I already have some on my desk. So I figured, you know what? Might as well get some for the entertainment center too, though uh, it's going to be kind of a bitch and a half to get back there because, well, the, uh, the entertainment center itself is pretty heavy. And with a TV and stuff on there, it's not going to be much easier. So it's going to be tricky getting this <laughs> connected to the back of there. But anyway, I'm not going to unbox that. 
will, however, unbox this. Yeah. I'll be interesting to this plus because there's a lot of different sound bars on Amazon. You can also find them Best Buy, but uh, some of the good sound bars cost like $300 or more. And I don't really need that. I just want something that's affordable and still sounds pretty good. At least better than the Logitech speakers. They're still good. I just want something a little better, more compact. So anyway, here's the user manual. A quick setup guide, which should be pretty self-explanatory. Just connect it. You, you know, connect to that wallet. Put the auxiliary cable your TV. You're good to go. No. Pretty self explainable but you know, some people do need this. Like, even I don't, even I don't use, uh, instructions on symbols of this, and I'm a dumbass. Okay, so, what else we got in here? We got the styrofoam, holding the power up. We got the uh, cables in here. Let me open those up. Vizio again, pretty decent brand. Because again, I have one of their TVs, they're pretty good. It's like a small, like 24 inch 1080p TV. Okay, so here's the uh, RCA cable. So we still use like a regular TV. Like, well, I'm surprised they're, there's still TVs out there that still have uh, AV outputs. The one, the TV I have in the living room has one, so we can play the Xbox and GameCube on there. But, uh, for, ever, for a lot of other TVs, you're going to need to get a AV to HDMI converter. You know, play it. Even then, it's going to look kind of grainy, but you have the option. So here's the power cable. Here's the adapter that so you can put into a regular uh, audio jack, 3.5 millimeter. You got the uh, remote. Okay. These remotes, you can turn the volume, on bass, treble. And then we're going to spend some time toying with this just to get the right sound thing. And then you get the batteries, it'd be kind of stupid to have a <laughs> uh, electronic device with a remote and not include batteries. Okay, so that's it for this little box. And of course, let's get these aside. We have the sound bar itself. I always like the cellophane wrapping that comes in the music. It definitely lets you know that uh, you're wrapping a new piece of hardware. You don't see that in graphics cards. I had to put those in anti-static bags so they don't short out. And if you wonder where your 300 plus dollars went. Okay. There it is. Facing backwards, but yeah. Yeah. There's a sound bar. Very feels nice too. That's nice like little felt between you want to see on the speakers and stuff. We've got a power button here. Uh, not sure what that button is. I'll have to look at that. Obviously the Bluetooth button. I guess these are the volume controls here. Let's check the uh, I/O in the back. So I'm guessing there's a subwoofer part. Which uh, does this have a subwoofer? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I don't think it was. Uh, yeah, subwoofer out. So if you have a separate subwoofer, you plug that in. So this is just like a... I never know what these things are in speakers and whatnot. So I'm sure somebody will know. I don't know. Okay. So here's the uh, AC input. That's probably going to put the power cable. USB, which I'm assuming is for like uh, maybe putting your own music on here. I'm not sure. Maybe connecting a USB uh, speaker here. There's an optical output which I don't have that I think my computer has that but I don't have a such a cable for it there's the auxiliary cable so that's what this adapter is for and the subwoofer out which I don't have a subwoofer the one the <laughs> the one that came by uh, Z333 speakers that's kind of hardwired to the speakers and uh, yeah I had to get a separate cable for that which I'm not going to I don't have a separate subwoofer I feel this would be more than enough because yeah I want some better sound quality for my TV as well as for the Steam Deck. And yeah, I will have a, another Steam Deck video later on, maybe at the end of the month, to show my uh, opinions on it. Got the spoilers. I do love it, but it does have a 
minor audio issue. It mainly has to do with Steam OS. I heard that the, the update uh, Steam 3.5, Steam OS 3.5, is supposed to fix like the audio cutout when you play the Steam Deck on the docking station. And I uh, heard that uh, it doesn't matter what HDMI cable you have. Okay, it might still cut out here and there. That's for the official docking station. I don't know about third-party stations. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. I'll have another clip uh, later. And let you know uh, what it looks like on the TV. And uh, how it sounds. Alright, comrades. I got the uh, soundbar hooked up. And not much to it. Just you know, plug in the power cable. And then plug in the uh, auxiliary cable into the side of the TV. And good thing kept that connector. Because uh, my uh, computer, my TV does not have uh, your AV <laughs> input. It does have optical though, so if I ever, ever do get an optical audio cable, I can definitely put that in. And as you can see, I've actually installed the uh, RGB lights in my entertainment center. And yeah, what is bad the thoughts gonna be? Just had to get some strong packing tape for today, because you know anything about these RGB LED strips? That the adhesive on them, no matter what kind you get. The adhesive on those strips suck. Like, they really do. It's like, just get yourself some tape, like, tape it like every, like, maybe five or six inches, and it'll be good to go. So, we're playing some Vampire Survivors. Just hear the audio. Alright, let's see how it's on. Okay, the thing about this uh, soundbar. It comes with this remote, as you can turn it off or on, you can also change the input, you can even change the equalizer so it can set, you, set it to a different sound setting, such as a movie or uh, music or video game or dialogue, so that's four different equalizer settings. You can increase the bass, what you do, the bass and treble, you press it, then you have to press the uh, left or right buttons to increase or decrease the amount of bass you get. And. Uh, there's also a night mode which turns down the bass so it's not as uh, loud or thumping. And uh, T Vol, which I guess is. On. Yeah, it turns on the soundbar there. And uh, let's see, we're just gonna play a quick. Uh... This will play as. Uh... This guy, Arca. Well, I need to get more batteries for my, uh, for be right back. Alright, we're back. Thank God for rechargeable batteries. <laughs> anyway. So I'm not quite hearing anything in the, uh, Steam Deck. So let me get this in real quick. Okay, settings. It probably must have messed with the audio. It says, install device. Oh, it's coming from the uh, Steam Deck. Hmm. It. it was working earlier. What's going on here? Optical no. Yeah, I do like how there's a LED in the front, but you know what setting it's on? USB. Okay, so you can connect it to like a USB speaker. Aux. Aux. <laughs> I think it's because the... There we go. Yeah, it's still some audio cut off. That's, uh, that's something with Steam OS. I heard uh, the update to SteamOS 3.5 will hopefully fix the audio issues in the docking station. But what I heard so far, it sounds a lot better than the regular speakers. Um, obviously, you can adjust the bass and treble, make it sound even better. You got equalizer settings, 
in the night mode, which you can uh, turn on for uh, you know nighttime viewing, listening, stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the audio. So I don't know how they haven't fixed that yet. Sounds a lot clearer. And yeah, obviously a lot more punchy. Which, uh, like I said, you can adjust it. Adjust the bass a bit. You turn it down a bit as well as a treble. Turn that down as well. And I already maxed out the sound on the uh, sound bar there. But the audio definitely sounds a lot clearer than the old uh, C200 speakers I have. Which uh, again, I must stress, still sound really good for the price. You have with the uh, soundbar, I definitely know there's a huge difference. Not just with the uh, sound card, especially with adjusting the bass and treble, plus the different equalizer settings. But now, for some reason, it's actually cutting out more. So I might try a new HDMI cable, see if that fixes the audio issues. Otherwise, I'll just wait for the update to Steam OS 3.5. Hopefully, that'll fix it. That is it. Hmm. Give my ass here, I won't, I won't pay this character that much. You know, I have a pretty good weapon. So if you get some old golden eggs and uh, increase the stats a bit. Well, I'm also playing on inverse, so naturally the enemies are going to be harder. But yeah. Sounds really good. Especially for the price. This, this uh, soundbar, this Vizio soundbar, costs 70 bucks. So it sounds really good for the price. I imagine we can go and get better from here. But again, for my needs, this is perfect. Again, it sounds a lot better than the old headphones. And hey, again, you can adjust the bass and treble. And adjust the uh, volume of the soundbar itself as well as the uh, input. Like a, Four different inputs there's Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, and optical. If you have either of those, it'll work well with this. Well, again, this, the audio issue is cutting out. It's the Steam docking station issue. The update to the next Steam OS will hopefully fix that. We'll see. It's still in beta, so you know, we'll find out. But anyway, just a little video I wanted to make here, comrades. So I'm not going to be, uh, I already had a smooth sound of this video up earlier. And I'm not going to have too many videos other than this. I'm probably not going to upload another video this week because I'm actually working on Sunday doing catering. And I won't have another day off till Thursday. So I might have a video up then. We'll see. But anyway, this Vizio Sandbar, definitely check it out. It's like 70 bucks. There's also a bigger one. It's like $10 more. But it wouldn't fit under my TV. So I chose this one. And yeah, that's perfect. I just hope it doesn't interfere with the uh, sensor on the TV itself. Okay, yeah, storage is fine. But anyway, this is I'm gonna get up signing out. Have a good day. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go.